Okay, so we're looking at a, uh, an example with limits. And first thing we talked about was let's always do direct substitution. And so in here, wherever I see an H, because the, the limit as H approaches zero, I am going to um, plug in a zero. And so once we do our direct substitution, recall that we drop the limit. Um, and so doing that, we have the square root of five. I see an H there. I'm gonna put parentheses and come back and plug in zero, plus four underneath that radical. Then I have a minus two all over. I see an H there. I'm gonna plug in zero. So doing this, I have five times zero. And I wonder if I just copied this down wrong. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so I have five times zero, which is um, zero plus four underneath the radical. And so this is giving me the square root of four minus two all over zero. Well, square root of four is two, so we get two minus two all over zero, which is zero over zero, which we talked about was our indeterminate form. Okay, so this is where we had to go back to our limit and we had to manipulate it some way. And this doesn't factor, I see a radical in this quotient and so we're gonna try by rationalizing this numerator. So we wanna multiply by the conjugate of this numerator and so that's just changing the sign that's in between these two groupings. And so we're gonna multiply this whole thing by a fancy one and that fancy one is gonna be the square root of five H plus four underneath the radical. Change this sign outside. So we're gonna have a plus two all over, and we're multiplying by one. So the same thing in the denominator, square root of five of H plus four, then outside of the radical is a plus two. Okay, so let me just bring down the limit while we distribute. So this is the limit as h is going to zero. Again, we talked about this last example. We have difference of squares here. So I could distribute this out or think of this as the same thing as a squared uh, minus b squared. So our first grouping, which is the square root of five h plus four, that quantity squared minus two quantity squared all over, do not distribute this piece. It will be helpful if you don't. If you do in the denominator, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to go back and factor it. You're gonna have to undo what you just did. So just leave it like that. So bringing down the limit, cause we still haven't plugged in our value yet. Squaring a square root just leaves us what's underneath the radical. So we're left with the radicand is what it's called this 5h plus four minus, just squaring the two, um, two squared is four, all over this denominator h, all times that square root of five at h plus four plus two. So notice in the numerator combining like terms, those constants cancel, that four minus four goes away. And we're just left with a limit as h approaches zero of 5h all over h, and then the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2. So here it is. Notice now that we have two factors in the numerator and denominator, or we have a factor in the numerator and denominator that are the same. Um, so notice that we have an h, 5 times h, is multiplication in between, we can cancel, same thing here. And so if we rewrite this limit, we have a limit as h approaches zero of five in the numerator all over the square root of five h plus four plus two. So let's take the limit again. Let's do our direct substitution. And so now wherever we see an h, we're gonna plug in zero. And since we're taking the limit, we're gonna drop the limit sign. 
So we have five all over the square root five times th, put a parentheses, plus four, outside plus two. Go in, replace, or put in four inside that parentheses. I'm not four, sorry, zero. Okay, so plugging in zero inside that parentheses. And now simplifying, numerator, we're still left with five, all over the square root of four, plus two. So we get five all over, well, square root of four is two, and two plus two is four. So the limit as h approaches zero of that rational, um, sorry, of this quotient with a radical in there is five fourths.